Hello, everyone. How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some POW World, shall we? Picking up where we left off with our complete beginner's guide. And we've got some things to do to boost up the amount of POWs that we can have at our base. So what we need to do is just check base upgrade, and we need to build the POW gear workbench to level this up. So let's do that. In all of these crafting building games, one of the main things that you have to do is just build, like, one of everything. You know what I mean? Um, so I need wood. Do I really not have wood? I really don't. And remember, like, I'm just doing that reluctantly, but the great thing, I mean, one of the many great things about this game is that when you're inside your base and the blue circle that is uh, created by your PAL box, all storage boxes are connected and can be accessed at crafting stations. So you know if you have wood in that box that you will be able to draw from it and get it. You don't have to pick it out of your inventory. You don't have to have the box close to it. Just in the sense of like, right next to the workbench, like in Stardew or something like that. It's anywhere on your base, or in your base's area, you get it. So, joyous. Now, you can see how we're having to get wood all the time. Wouldn't it be nice if we had a pal that could just get wood for us? That's going to be one of our objectives. By the way, they did all this updating, you know, and it's the game's early access. I want to see really quickly, did they update uh, the roof? Oh, looks like they did. It's working. So maybe they fixed some of the roofing shenanigans that I encountered. Remember, it's early access, so, you know. Um, or it might be that you had to tear it down before you could build it. But let's see. Let me try to build... Um, the slanted roof, and, um, yeah, this. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if anything happened differently with this. Um... Well, it might not work because this is here, so let me just break this away and then see if this has been altered. What about, can you snap onto that guy? You can. So it can snap onto that piece much easier than before. So that's sweet. So let's just try this and see if the roofing has been changed in this very, like in, you know, one or two days since I did this last to actually work properly. Okay, so now we have a roof, and can I sleep in the bed? Yes, I can. They fixed it. Okay, get out. I don't want to actually pass time. I just wanted to test it. So look at that. So now um, it, it still doesn't snap as easily as you'd like, but it snapped. And we have a completely constructed... Now, that was also told to me. One of these is actually a stair. So... Um, it's so close to this on the radial that that's actually some steps. So let's get rid of that because that's embarrassing. And let's build a uh, roof. And that's probably why I couldn't sleep under it before because it was actually a staircase. Um, now it's fixed. Tremendous. Okay. Well, to be honest, if that's happening, I'm going to actually disassemble this bed and build another one because I don't like where that bed is. I like having a bed right here where you can hear the waterfall. Um, it's peaceful. So I just want to say I really appreciate everyone for pointing out some tips for building the roof. They've already been addressing it and fixing roofing. And also... Thank you for pointing out that I had a staircase up there. That's hilarious. Um, I don't see how it wouldn't work as a roof. I mean, it's still, you know, 
is a ceiling, but now it looks great. So we are rocking, and let's build the workbench if we have enough for it. Uh, we just need some cloth. Well, guess what? Cloth is going to be easy for us now because we built the ranch. And there we go. So we actually have the variety pack at the base. Uh-oh, Syndicate Patrol is raiding us. Okay, so this will happen sometimes. We are getting raided. Now, I'm not playing multiplayer, so this is not another player. This is just the AI uh, coming for us. And you can see on the map where they are. They are these red hooded figures um, on the compass. And they are coming where it says danger. That diamond with the exclamation point. You can see them coming. So what we're going to do is. I'm going to uh, get out my cat. And we're going to fight. And I'm just going to shoot these guys in the face. Now, I hope I didn't accidentally hit that dinosaur, because um, I think I did. That's uh, not what I wanted to have happen. Yeah, so we are getting um, massively attacked by the dinosaur guy, which is much worse than the raid. I wonder if I can... Well, all of my pals are attacking him, which is not good. Yeah, my pals are getting knocked out. But this is funny. We're, I accidentally hit this guy when I was trying to fight the Syndicate thugs. But they are really working hard to defend our base. I'm going to throw it at this guy. It's not going to work, but it would be cool if it stunned it a little bit, you know? I'm going to throw my buddy up there. Let's get some more pals on the job. Uh-oh. I'm out of arrows. I'm down! Oh, whoa, it's me. Okay. So I dropped all my items and equipment when we died, um, but uh, we're on our base. And we get to choose a respawn point. Well, any of these uh, you can choose, but how about we just choose our base? And we respawn here. And uh, let's get our stuff. And let's just take everything from the death chest. Uh, I'm just going to left stick, take all, and hopefully that guy is no longer angry. Now, this is a good time to discuss um, that outcome. So if you accidentally aggro a big boy and all your pals get wiped out, you can take them back to the pal box um, and... All your pals at the base, you just have to um, kick them. Whoops. Um, here. Go here. Yep. And we're going to just move them in here. And you see they have a little timer. This is how long it's going to take them to, uh, you know, basically heal up. So we have 10 minutes. Uh, this guy got knocked out. He's got to rest too. So let's let them rest up. Yikes. But, we really did it's not like it's the end of the world. We're not dead. Our base is not removed from the game. We're going to be 
Okay. It's a new day. All right. So let's check ourselves out. And um, I'm only a little bit hungry, so I don't need to eat, but I can. I'll just eat just a bit. So I need um, to get some stuff going because everybody's knocked out at the base. So I'm just going to go to Pal Box Management, and I'm going to take all of the land balls that are in my party and just um, put them to work. Nobody's here working, so they can make wool for us, and they can also um, just gather stuff. So, that's fine. All right. Now, we were in the business of trying to make the PAL gear workbench, but we need cloth. And we were getting raided when I was, you know, trying to go pick up the wool, but now we have plenty of wool. So let's go put it back. Do do do. I'm going to open, and we're going to jump everything in. And I'm going to open, and we're going to dump everything in. And then I'm going to go to my bench, and we're going to make some cloth. Uh, I'm going to make full. I'm going to crush this stuff. There we go. Acquire. And then now I'm going to try to make the PAL gear workbench. Bink. And we'll just kind of put it over here with the rest of our stuff. Uh, that looks perfect. It's a little farther out than I want, but that's okay. And got it. Okay, so now we did that, and it says select recipe, but we don't have any recipes for it. They just wanted us to build it, and so fine. But the main thing is it levels up our PAL box. So we can go over here, and uh, we just click Y, and we say upgrade. Now they want us to build a crusher, a stone pit, and a logging pit. Now, all of this stuff we would build anyway. But it'll help us level up our base. So to build a crusher, we go to... Uh, Well, we don't have it yet. We, we have the logging site. We need to get technology for the rest of this. So, if, um, if you are looking for the crusher, okay, you see it's right down here at level 8. So, we have to get level 8 before we can even level it up. But, why not get it and get some more pals? So, which pals do I want? I am going to get one chicken because I do want to have a chicken laying eggs. Not a bunch, but one. Oh, I need arrows. Okay. So we'll make some more arrows in a moment, but... Okay, I didn't mean to... That was... I, I hit that guy too hard. I killed him. When they have those swirly eyes, that means over. Oh, don't be silly. I'll just capture it just because. Oh, you know what's funny? Is we hadn't captured a chicken yet. I was thinking of, uh, in my Let's Play, We <laughs> I have a bunch of chickens. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but in this, I was being very um, intentional and only capturing uh, cats to do mining and stuff to get us w wood. But um, no, we're good. And lamb balls because it was part of the quest. So now... Now, what we're going to do is build a bed. Like this. Here they come. They helped us out. We got it. And we're going to go over here, and we're going to um, just take this chickpea and put it in the base. I'm actually going to put two in. for now just because we don't have anything else. Wonderful. And for a logging site, what am I short on? Well, it's wood. Once we get the logging site built, we're going to go get a PAL 
that is perfect for the logging site. I also need to make arrows because we want to shoot stuff. By the way, you saw that raid that came at our base. The raid was a joke. I was going to just fight them by myself. If you let them get to your base, you could see how your pals will help out and everything like that. And they would have been easy. They were not hard. The big set level 17 guy was hard. We had, you know, almost won, which was kind of cool. All right. Okay, so let's go here and let me make a bunch of arrows. Oh, we can also craft uh, the parachute, which we will. It's sweet. It's very good for getting around. It's exactly like in Zelda Genshin Impact. He's helping us work. Thank you so much. All right, and then we're going to make arrows... I'm just going to take a few. Nobody's working on that. But let's go ahead and see what would it take to get that logging site. Just a little bit more wood. Sure. Now you could see we are getting wool and we are getting... Oh, I need to fix this. Uh, it looks like it got damaged. Perhaps in the fight. So I need to fix my ranch a little bit. No problem. We need to build a repair kit. We can do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just put all of the berries on there. Even though we don't have the fox parks to cook it, they'll cook eventually. I'll pick these up. And, oh, I think I'm going to need to make these, get these out of the way. All of my buddies are occupied. So we have to make these so that we can get to the repair kit. Now, if you don't want to make all this, if you're like, that's just too many arrows, I don't need that many arrows, which we really might not. You can just finish it, and then you can hold B to cancel the project, and then you could select a new recipe. So we could make um, a repair kit, for example. And we'll make two. And let's just get a couple of repair kits on us. And we'll pick them up. Don't forget to pick it up. And then let's go over here and see if we could fix up this. I'm holding right stick. And we fixed it. Great. Now, the, remember the wool and the eggs that drop inside here? You can just walk on them to pick them up. And if I go into my inventory, um, the glider has been automatically equipped. So most stuff is good, but I'm going to run over. And I'm going to just deposit things into my chest before I go out. Okay. And then... Um, I'm going to get some more wood. And I'm going to really try hard not to hit this guy. Please don't walk in front of my stuff. So you can see all of our pals are working, which is cool. By the way, if you want your pal to do, like, a specific kind of labor, you can pick them up and throw them at something. So, like, if you want it to, like, do something else, potentially, you can, like, pick it up and throw it. Or you can, if it's in your party, you can throw it at it to have it interact with it. Or 
We're building the logging site. I'm going to build it just right here. This looks fine. And there they go. We're all building it together. So all this does is provide a place for uh, sustainable forestry. So, like, this will just be a workstation where a pal that has the logging ability can get wood. And you see how it has 9,999. Now, I can get wood from it, too, I guess, you know, if I really want to. Um, but instead, what we want to do is automate that. So let us see how many spheres do I have? I have plenty. I have plenty of arrows. Okay, let's go. Let me run down here. And I've got my bow. I know exactly what I want. It is a huge purple buddy. There he is. Right there. Okay, so we don't want the memorist. <laughs> we want the deer. Now it is level 9. But we could throw our buddy down there to help. Our armor is damaged. It needs repaired. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Right, that could just give you a little bit of a break, even if you don't catch it. But we got it. So... Um, that was pretty fun because it almost killed us, and <laughs> yet we did. It would have been easier if we had a whole bunch of pals in our party, but a bunch of our guys got knocked out. And yet, the cool thing about doing that is that we leveled up because it was like you know our first time capturing that pal. It's a high level pal, and wonderful. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to just increase my stats. Um, I'm going to boost, oh, I still like boosting work speed, it's just like my favorite, and then I'm going to go to technology, and because we're level 8, we can go ahead and get the crusher right away, and we need to get the stone pit, we have two points left, what do we want? Well, we could get a better bow, like a fire bow, but if you get the fire bow, it needs, um, fire arrows to shoot. You can't use regular arrows with it, so you have to get both of them for it to be even usable. Um, now, we can... I'll learn it, and we'll get the arrows next time. But in the meantime, let's just be in our base area and recover our hit points. And we're going to change some things up. Watch this. We're going to go to management. And look at this. All of our guys are back. So time to do a little shifting. We're going to take this deer, and we're going to put it to work at the base. And then we're going to take our planter and put it to work at the base. And we're going to take our waterer and put it to work at the base. And we'd like one more guy here so that we can get the fox parks and then kind of have everybody doing its thing. But look, I just want to show you this. There is our deer just getting wood. Lumber is coming in. Fox Park isn't as necessary right now because, um, you know, we have plenty of food. You can see, no problem. By the way, all food that they get, they will put here. So, like, if they gather berries or they gather the eggs from the chickpea, they will put it over here, too. So, be mindful of that. You could come in there and take it if you need it. 
And we need to build some other stuff. So we need to build a stone pit. So let's get that going. Our cats can work at the stone pit. We need to fix our armor. I'm hungry. I need better armor. Oh, dear. There we go. And then they're all happy. They finished that. Um, let me eat. Now I feel great. All right, we need to repair our stuff. Let me go to the repair bench. And um, I'm going to select this. Um, to fix it, we need cloth, though. So all we have to do is go here and just make some cloth. Uh, I'm going to make Max. Now, nobody... Um, you see, it requires handiwork. So no, none of the pals here that are free um, have handiwork available to do that. And that's fine. I will acquire it. And I'm going to open this. And I'm going to repair this. There we go. And I'm going to repair this. Um... I'm going to repair my bow. I want to keep my stuff topped off. Oh, my bow needs... Oh, it's fixed. Okay, great. And I'm going to leave that there. Okay, so we got the stone pit. The last thing we need is the crusher. Now, the crusher says... Um, requires pal with the watering trait to spin the water turbine. Well, guess what? We have a pal with the watering trait. So, we're okay. Now, you could try to build the crusher in the water to see if that'll work. Um, as well, and we'll, we'll attempt it, but I'm not, like, holding my breath. Okay, we need wood, and we need, uh, palladium fragments. Okay, no problem. Let me, uh, wood we'll get. That guy's got it. Let me get my mining pick out, and we can just go get some, um, fragments here. Paldium fragments. So I'm going to go in here, and can we now build the crusher? We need some more wood. But if I... Let's see if I just run over here if there's wood to gather. Yes, there is. So I just acquired 39 wood by interacting with that. And is there any here? Yep, I can acquire some stone. Okay, so great. So just kind of like you have to interact with that workstation to gather it. It's not just laying around. So you see how like the ranch, the stuff is just laying around. And you could just walk on it. But at those, you have to actually gather it. And either way, now we can build this. We're going to go over here. And I'm going to build a crusher. And I'm going to put the crusher like this. I'm going to pretend like the water wheel being inside the water like this is okay. I don't think it's going to actually get the benefit of that. I think that my guy is going to have to water it, but that's okay. I'm just testing this for science to see if we can utilize the, the power of this water source. All right. And we could select a recipe, which would be... What this thing does is, like, it lets you take wood and um, turn it into fiber, or you could take stone and turn it into paldium. So, that's pretty cool. You know, you could break stuff down and, and turn it into something else. And now, we can upgrade our PAL box. So, I'm going to go here, and we're going to upgrade it. And at this point, we need a hot spring, a furnace, and a berry plantation. Two of them. So, let's go to uh, the management. And I'm going to put in a Fox Parks to work here. Again, this gives us varied labor. I need to build an extra bed. You do not have to do this. 
um, like I'm doing, where I just have lots of different pals doing stuff. It, if you felt like I've got enough eggs, like I don't need a chicken, I would rather have a cat doing mining, or I'd rather have some more deer gathering wood, or whatever you know you want to focus on, do it. I like a little bit of everything, but if you want to, you know, um, specialize, that's also an option. Okay, so this guy's cooking for us. Fantastic. All right, the things are happening. And if we want another berry plantation, that's pretty easy. We can build that. Now, because we have... Um, the I'm just going to kind of try to get it somewhat close here. Oh, he's standing right in it. All right, well, he'll get done in a second. As soon as he leaves, I'm going to build this. Look at him working. You just have to appreciate such diligence. There we go. Done. And um, I could see that, or... Um, this guy's going to seed it. Just shooting seeds, magical green seeds out of his mouth. Fantastic. And we can gather some wood right here. We can gather some stone. Oh, no stone, but that's okay. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm just going to open this up, push right button, right um, R1. Just deposit a bunch of stuff in here uh the horn is new the bread is some good food and um i'll even put in this venison so you can see we're going to need uh some more storage to hold these different types of things but for now we're doing beautifully all right so we have um an automated stone collection point an automated lumber collection point. We've got... Um, let me actually equip this instead of the club. A ranch built. We've leveled up our pal box. And we have uh, so many different types of labor happening. We also built a crusher. We got killed. And let me show you one last thing that we did. We built ourselves... A glider. So the glider works just like in Zelda uh, Genshin Impact. You just push jump and then you push jump again to get it out, but it does take stamina, and when your stamina is out, you will fall to your doom. But it's still super useful. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun, and I hope that you are enjoying Pal World. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.